Hello hard hats and welcome back to Construction Simulator where the sun is up, it is still morning and we are down here at our second shop, I suppose it is, just uh, right where we left off. I've been looking at some jobs, what I want to do today and boy, the, the campaign jobs are getting kind of extensive and expensive as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and I picked a job, well I haven't really picked it just yet, but let's go ahead. We are going to do the campaign job, uh, but you can see some of these do pay rather well, so... Uh, the boardwalk job, 933,000 credits we'll get. It is a 10 step process. Uh, it says it's, it's like, a. I don't know what the duration is. I don't know what those hourglasses stand for. Is that for like an hour? I, I, I hope not. Uh, <laughs> cause I feel like a four hour job. Uh, but I don't know what that really stands for, but, uh, but that's not what we're doing here today. Uh, let me back up. We're actually going to go down and do a job for the Harbor master at the waterways. Let's go ahead and select that. The pier is neglected and nothing more than a piece for the goals, or sorry, a place for the goals to meet. It's more than due for refurbishment and an upgrade for the seawall. So we go in here and select it. Uh, four hour glasses long. I don't know what that is, but it's five stages. Estimated earnings, uh, I don't want to say just 168,000. That still seems pretty darn good. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing a lot of fast traveling because our harbor pier is kind of a ways down there. Um, but I haven't been there yet. So let's go ahead and exit out of here, all the way here. Uh, is it actually on the map that I got? I got to meet at the harbor. Yep. So there we go. Uh, actually, I can fast travel there. So when you have a job there, you can automatically fast travel. Um, can I fast travel for no money? Apparently, I can. You can set any waypoint in the map. Follow the automatic route guidelines of the HUD. Reach a waypoint in the game world. Yeah. So I don't think I've been to the harbor yet. But pretty soon we will have been. Uh, where are we going? Are we meeting Hap or are we meeting some foreman for the Maritimes here? Speak with the harbor master. Greetings. I was ready to give up hope before your company accepted the job. I'm happy for any support. And especially to see new faces in the construction industry. Because there's a lot to do in the harbor region. With severe storms, the large breakwater protects the harbor from the raging sea. And during a storm surge last fall, however, it gave way in a few places and some of the moorings were also damaged. The municipality expects me to fix it ASAP. And uh, how can I do that without the right people, eh? Am That's I the right why people? Really come at the right time. So, repairing breakwaters and jetties. That will be your first tasks for now. I'm on it, Harbor Master. At least I think I will be. Uh, first stage complete. We are 20% done. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, it does say flat in the area. Um, but I do believe uh, over here. So, if I go into jobs, it's going to tell me uh, what it recommends for, for equipment. So, yeah, it says wheel loader. Any other options I can do? I could do bucket load or, or a compact track loader. That may take me a little bit longer. Or a bulldozer. What else do I need for this job? Because if I gotta, if I gotta, you know, use it somewhere else, it may, may be good to know. Um, flatbed crane. Okay, we got that. We own that. An excavator. I do have an excavator or a backhoe. It's not that big, but I think I'll get the job done. Uh, then the flatbed crane, backfilling, whoops, backfilling takes a, you want me to use a dump truck? So we're going to bring dirt in. Okay. And then construction, concrete construction. Uh, we're going to need a flatbed crane, which we have. Concrete mixer we don't have. I'm not going to bother looking because it's going to be all concrete mixers. I haven't got nothing for concrete. And then the debriefing. All right. So I think I can use... Yeah. Uh, let's see what the price is. Compact track loader might be cheaper. Let's go up to the store here. And then we just want to enter. Uh, let's do by, not by brands because, uh, yeah, why would we? Um, is the reason why I can't use my backhoe loader to do that job? That, that should do the same thing-ish, I would think, right? Uh, yeah, let me let me let me not do that here. Um, 
can I jump into my? I, I don't have it out yet. No, I don't want to. I want. I want to fast travel. I don't have it out of the um, what you call it, the mechanic shop yet, in storage. So I don't think I can fast travel to it. But I can fast travel back to my my base, my home garage. I guess I'll call it. And I think it says uh, while it's in the maintenance, it also fills up with fuel at the same time, which seems kind of weird. And if I can do that and get, uh, does it cost me no money to, you know, refuel? And yep, here it is. Uh, perfect condition. Let's go ahead and take out. And should be behind me over yonder. I could see getting your, your character physically fit does come in kind of handy once in a while. I should mention that I had a skill point at the end of last episode. And I put it into uh, crane, uh, moving the crane around faster. And I'm not using a crane this episode, does not look like. Let's go ahead and fast travel. It's going to cost me 329 credits. This, that is kind of cheap. For how long it would it take me to drive down here in the backhoe or to get my Kenny out and get a flatbed uh, and travel down there? Probably take me forever. Flat and airy. Can I really do it with this? That's the question. I mean, it looks like I actually got to take the dirt out. I now got to remember all the controls. It's going to take me a second to get the controls down. Nope, don't dump it back in. 1% done. Ooh. This is why you need a bigger... A bigger bucket. I mean, I could save myself some money, right? But I'm going to dump the dirt here. Let me go back up to the shop, see how much it is to rent a bigger one, because 1% 1 for one bucket, that's 100 buckets I'm going to have to try uh, to do that with. And let's go ahead and do that. And let's see, where do I find... Where's the big boys? Oh, there we go. Wheel loader. 2,760 credits for that one. Or... 270. For an extra 300 credits, I can get a decent size wheel loader. A Dawson DL? Let's go ahead and we're going to rent that. Yep, let's go ahead and do that. Why not? Uh, from what I'm reading on the comments on um, on the forums money is coming in really really simple for most people and they're looking for actually a harder challenge so I'm guessing money is not going to be too much of an issue uh, wheel loader let's go ahead and enter that it's going to be a lot of fast traveling and teleporting and then I want to go ahead and Come back down here. 1,030 credits to fast travel in this. So the bigger the, mach the machinery, the more expensive it is to fast travel. All right, let me go interior. Probably should have moved my backhoe, but... So the controls are pretty much the same. Okay, so now I'm already up to 7%. That's not even a full bucket. There we go. That's 18%. So, to me, that's worth it, I guess. Uh, let's not back into the harbor and back into my own... Uh, where did the dirt go that I put there? I don't know if I need this dirt for later on. The dirt is just disappearing. So, why am I backing up all the way here to dump it somewhere if it's just going to disappear? Can 
Okay, I just dump it over the side here. What does that do? Probably shouldn't have dumped it there. Is it going to disappear? Of course not. Dump it over the cliff. How about that? I hope I don't need it for later on. But I do think it said backfilling and I, I had to get a dump truck for it. It does say flat and area, so I'm wondering if I should be putting the dirt in this hole that's here. Uh, am I stuck? Oh, if I put the dirt back in the hole, that's... Oh, okay. I mean, I should have figured that out on my own a little while ago, but if I put it in the spots that are low, it's considered leveling out. Good thing is, once you get out of 100%, it'll flatten it all up completely for us. I want to get over to the other side. Uh, maybe I won't get over to the other side because I put too much dirt in one spot here. Probably the bulldozer would have been a better choice. I just want to drop a little dirt at a time here. Ninety-eight percent. Can't quite get it up to a hundred. I think I'm gonna dump this dirt to the side because I think if I go this back to the other end again. Uh I didn't do anything, but okay. Um clear the marked area. I do like the fact now that I know how to turn my head around in the cab and everything, but too bad you can't look out the back, and the mirrors are not uh, the best. Now, some of my dirt did stay there. Okay, let's go park this aside. Wait, it says flatten area. Did I not do that? Said use a wheel loader to flatten area. Although it does show a dozer I could use, but I do have what we have. All right. Oh, there's a second area beyond that. Ah, I gotcha. I knew that. I'll still focus on the area that we're in. I 
I can see getting time behind each machinery will get you used to what you need to do. Get over this hump here? No, I cannot. So it won't let me get up to the other side. really like to get on the other side of this dirt pile so I can get the other mounds over there but it won't let me at least not yet there we go made it over here Kind of. Now I just need to turn around. I have least more stuff than I needed to, but all right. Uh, what you missed is I went and got myself a bulldozer to flatten that last section. I could not get it better than 89%, so I actually had to skip it, but I did lease a bulldozer for it. And then I came over here and I said, uh, we need to remove this destroyed road section and rock. And I, when I was looking at it, I was like, uh, they want me to get out there, out that with an excavator. No, I think they want me to use a crane is what I'm seeing here. So we're going to come over to here and change mode. Let's go ahead and throw on some lights as well. So at least an excavator, a bigger excavator than what I had. But when I got in the excavator, I saw where it gave me these little rings. I'm like, oh, that, that's for a crane. Uh, let's grab this one right here first. Watch out for the lights. This is not going to reach over there, is it? It actually has some reach to it, but guess what? Not far enough. Alright, so I'm just going to drop it right. Oh, nope, that's close enough though. That's all fine and good.
all that leasing costs from what? Did we just hit midnight? I think it's this one right here. Yep, there we go. Uh, 20% movement speed on a crane is going to pay off a little bit this uh, this job at least. Work lights are working pretty darn good, and they're they're pretty in industrial after taking a hit from a boulder like that. There we go. Let me go ahead and reset this. Put the drive mode. Park this out of the way, at least I think I will. Now we just say excavate area. Well, since I got this, might as well go ahead and use it. Uh, what area am I excavating here? guessing the area that uh, we just got the rocks out of. Do I want to go in third person for this? Can't really see down there that well. Let's see. I gotta remember what controls do what. Find the right spot first of all. First of all, be good. Uh, am I just putting the dirt anywhere? First bucket got 7%, second bucket got 2%. I think it's actually the area I'm trying to clear out, not how much the bucket's actually grabbing. So I'm always grabbing a full bucket, but it's not the same percentage of the time. Let me grab some from over here. up to 32% removed.
Well, that brings me to 95%, but trying to find these last little bits here can be frustrating because it's not like it's really telling you. I mean, I'm in the zone where I need to dig, but sometimes I get a full bucket out and it does absolutely nothing. But, okay, that was 2%. Just trying to prove a point there. But if bringing you guys back gets the uh, other 3%, I'll be glad. Now, sometimes in the early stages, I was getting, I think, like, the first bucket, I got, like, 7%. Sometimes I was getting, like, 1%, then 6%. Hey, that's 100%. I'm happy with that. So I needed the excavator anyways. Oh, I was like, why is that? That should be forward, because... I've turned this thing around so many times I forgot which way is actually the front. Which is here. Go ahead and park this out of the way. So now we need a steel beam, pallet of metal elements. Pallet of metal elements. I assume I'm going to get that in my truck, which is parked over here. And where do I got to go for this stuff here? Prefabrication. Is this where I got to go? Let me go ahead and enter here. I don't want to fast travel. And we'll filter by job. Uh, pallet of metal elements. Okay, so I need two of those. Might as well go ahead and get everything in one trip, right? Can I fit all that on, my, on this truck here? Well, we're about to find out here, and I am going to... Fast travel. Fast traveling in this thing is rather cheap, I think. 330 credits. That'd probably take me like 10 minutes to get up there. 330 credits. I will fast travel. Uh, did I actually buy that in the store or did I not? I think it's in my shopping list, but I did not buy it. Is it still there, I hope? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, total cost is $12,900. let us go ahead and check out. Uh, deliver to yard, auto loading. No suitable transport vehicles available for their... There's not enough space on the loading area. All right, uh, we'll take off auto loading then and then just go ahead and purchase. Is it not enough space on this completely for all of the items or is there an item in here that cannot fit? So we know we need the metal beam, steel metal beam. So if this fits on here, then it's just a matter of not having space for everything. So I'll have to come back up here and get the other stuff. Rotate it the other way, please. Do we have room to get it further over or not? That looks like right there. All right, and we need uh, metal elements. Which one's the metal elements? I'm guessing... 
these guys right here, I'm hoping. I don't think I got room for anything else. Let's go ahead and we'll reset that. Routing mode. And probably a little bit more expensive to fast travel now we got all that stuff on there. I just think the crane is 20% faster so I use that skill point on it. Am I 20% faster? Personally? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, well... Nope. Reset that. Alright, so I just place that down and it disappears. Alright, now it says fill the area with soil. So I just need a dump truck because that's the only thing that we're going to get. And then uh, fill that on up. So, the store is going to love me today. That's all I know. Uh, let's go ahead and enter that. Uh, the one right here looks good for almost 4000 I didn't want to fast travel the store. Okay, either way. Either way. But that cost me a little bit. All right, I do want to... Nope, I don't want to do that. I will go ahead and drive on down to the gravel shop because it's not that far. Drive on, sir. You're fine. So, I'm not really sure I know where to get the gravel as of yet. But I'm sure I'll figure it out once I get there. Over there is asphalt. We do know that. Go on third person, might be easier to see.
Well, it says extraction. Do I get to pick what I want to extract? It says fill up. All right, so gravel, fill area with soil. There we go. Uh, so gravel, sand, empty, and if I, can, if I can get the muscle to stay there, soil. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully that is enough. How much to fast travel down there? Because that's quite a haul. 552 credits? That's not bad at all. So, I had to empty out the area of soil and then put soil back in. Uh, but get, I, I mean, I was basically repairing the damaged area, so I cleared it all out. So, well, it looks like I'm going to need to go back on up and get another load of soil. I don't know how much I'm using in money and all this. Um, I'm hoping I'm making some cash on this job. I forgot what it was paying. I think it's paying decently enough. I shouldn't be, you know, I should be making like 110, 120,000. I think it was 140 that I'm going to make on it. Now, if I just go to extraction... All right, so I think I got to go in here and tell them what I want. Fast travel is my best friend. Trying to figure out why I don't think I got a full load, or because it showed me like some red over there, so I'm not sure. It looks like I got a full load. Please don't tell me I gotta take another trip. Good. Jump out of that truck, hop into this one, and it's a long ways up here. Is there another building materials place somewhere down here, or doesn't look like it? And I'm not using gas either, so <laughs> we're put, putting wear and tear in the vehicle. Well, the biggest one first.
and reset and drive mode and of course fast travel yeah fast travel seems kind of cheap mostly there's been a couple times of fast travel down here I think the bulldozer costs like 2,000 credits to fast travel down here. Easy peasy, nice and easy on that one. Now it's time to rent more machinery. I think the only thing I got to do on this one is bring down a cement truck. I don't think I need to... Um, uh, slab foundation concrete mixer. It's all I need. I don't need a uh, concrete pour at all. So, uh, yep, back up to the store. And I don't want to fast travel to it. I just want to go ahead and get myself a uh, Sure, we'll get this one right here. Why not? I think that's going to be big enough, hopefully. Did I... Yep. Let's go ahead and enter. And it will save myself some cash by driving down to the cement place and uh, grab myself some wet cement. It cost me 21,000 credits for uh, concrete, but uh, we have it, and fast travel is 381. Definitely want to be third person for this part. Because when I back up, you can't see. Alright, uh, shoot on or off, pouring on. Get that over there. Oh, not camera. Pouring on. Oh, so you gotta whip this sucker around, how huh, to cover the whole area. I gotcha. Pull forward a little bit. Turn that off. All right, let's reposition ourselves.
Somewhere right about here should be good, right? Yeah, I think that's right where I want to be. Seven percent. Oh, I, I, I. Ooh, how am I gonna get back there? Do I really have to drive back that far? I don't think you want to be driving in the concrete, but um, One more, nope, nope. One more spot to cover. Nope, I thought I said turn off. Thank you. Alright, clear the construction site, 7 to 7. Um, are we actually done done? Done da done done. Uh, debriefing, yes. So, let's go to company, uh, vehicle fleet. And wow, I got a lot of stuff to return. Uh, yes, this backhoe. Return. Uh, this dump truck. Return. Um, this front loader, wheel loader. Return. This bulldozer can be returned. And I think I'm in still in the concrete mixer. And like someone said, I was having a hard time returning one, one time. And they said that's because you were in the vehicle at the time. So we'll exit on out. Return that. And I actually should get some money back for the concrete that was in there. That's good. Uh, let's see, I gotta go ahead and clear out my stuff that's here. Okay, that's one. Park it right up here in the sidewalk because that's the best place to put things. So still learning as I go along here game mechanics and what I need to be actually doing. Actually, I need to come back in here because I think my headlights are still on. Are they off now? Yeah, we're all good. Uh, speak with the Harbor Master who's standing right here, which is convenient. Thanks for pitching in. A storm surge like this isn't much fun if you're not well prepared. At least the big ships can safely dock again. However, that will not be enough. There are a few considerations that would certainly not hurt the economics of the harbor. My intuition tells me that we landed exactly the right fish with your company. <laughs> and as an right experienced fish. seafarer, I've always relied on my gut feeling. Got some dad jokes there. looks a lot better and looks like there's actually people visiting the pier so we're bringing in more tourism I think 
Yep, people have come down to visit the pier. Uh, no ships have come in yet. No feeding the fish. All right, so that's the job done. I am up to 281 credits and we did earn, let's go ahead and do it now. Uh, if I go over to my profile and go over to skills, I do have a skill point, uh, crane speed, uh, wear efficiency driving. I'm not driving that much. Uh, concrete, uh, you are a skilled concrete worker and know how to mix the perfect concrete for smooth pouring without leveling any open spots. Not really sure what that means. Um, bucket capacity could be something. Uh, let's go ahead and just put a point into that. So every bucket could actually hold more into it, which would be kind of good. Um, maybe next episode uh, with 281,000 credits, I might go ahead and buy some machinery. And that'll depend on what job that we take. I'll have to look and see what I want to do next. It might be a campaign job or, or a side contract. We'll have to see. Some of those side contracts do pay rather well, but they are rather lengthy. Uh, but I'm starting to get the hang of it. Starting to realize uh, when to not ditch dirt to the side and when to actually uh, keep dirt. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Put myself in first person. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Construction Simulator. But until then, have a good one.